Hey guys, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. This time, we've got an overworld gold farm. This design was originally shown to me by one of my uh, Redstone team. So, what it utilizes is an iron, a, a snow golem to attract the zombie pigmen into, well, <laughs> chasing after him. It's very uh, specific on how it's set up, but let's just give this a few moments to let them uh, notice him. But as you can see, we're getting a decent spawning of uh, zombie pigmen, and I am in the overworld. They will get attracted by the snow golem because he throws snowballs at them which is great because that's what we want them to do we got a little visual glitch on the portal but they're all lit so we'll be getting zombie pigment from every single one it can get a little laggy if you have a lot of other things around here as you can see I'm not experiencing much lag but yeah, so let's see here. It should be going any moment now. There we go. Attract them. And then they all just run. They fall down this little hole that I've made right into their death. Yeah, they're getting uh, they are getting killed by entity cramming. So we don't have to worry about them doing that, but that's only in this this one specifically. How you set up your kill chamber is up to you, but I'm feeding out the uh, rotten flesh because I don't want to have that, but I just want the gold. So what do you say? Let's get to building this thing. Okay guys. I'm back. I'm just going to give you a little bit of information on how zombie pigmen get aggressive in PS4. So, I've got a zombie pigmen spawn egg here. I have disabled this. I disabled the portal, so we're not going to be getting any. I can place one in here, and as you see, he's aggressive now. Now, I can just place zombie pigmen all around and none of them are going to get aggressive until one of them gets hit. I've tested this like this for hours just to make sure that it works and there's a range that they get aggressive at. See this guy he was here for a long time and he's not aggressive. So let's, uh, and they don't stay uh, once. So we can't utilize what they use in Java to have a continual stream of zombie pigmen. They do have a certain range that they do detect zombie pigmen at. And the zombie pigmen only get mad within a certain range. I think it's uh, 16 blocks. But let's uh, that one's mad. Uh, this is the range. So we have one extra portal here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks from is what they can see. And hit. Okay guys. I'm back and in the shulker boxes we have absolutely everything we need to build this gold farm. Now we need 13 and a half stacks of obsidian. They are 9 by 9 portals. There's 7 per section and 4 sections. 
13 and a half stacks. Now for the redstone and everything other than the kill method and the collection method, which is all up to you, we need one piston, four sticky pistons, some gates for uh, to let the village uh, to let the zombie pigmen fall into the kill tube, a bunch of blocks to build with, 36 trap doors, seven pieces of redstone, nine comparators, one repeater, one observer one pumpkin, two snow, some type of collection method, some slab, uh, at least one slab, some hoppers, some water, and two and a half stacks of any random item. I'm just going to be using bamboo. So let's gather everything from in here, and everything from in here, and let's get to building this thing. So first thing is first, I'm going to be using trapdoors for this, but anything that will prevent the snow golem from moving. So yeah, and plus it just looks cool. So create your snow golem. In fact, I'm going to temporarily place a uh, slab right there and we'll get the snow golem made. Put the slab above his head, now he can't move. This slab is important because it'll allow him to not see the zombie pigmen when he gets pushed down, which is what we want. We don't want them to see the zombie pigmen whenever we don't want them to. So what we need now is a sticky piston. Let's get that out of my hopper and put it down. Get back my building blocks and we will go up leaving a gap to place our one observer. Now he won't be able to see the uh, see them. So let's just get it so that he can't see them. There we go. That's what we want to see. We don't want him, we want this in his head, leaving it. So that's the start. Now get your trapdoors and we'll create a chamber. So we need to go three blocks. On the third block, ring. Uh, put a ring around the snow golem and he's on a three by three platform so we don't uh, so we need that three by three platform there for one specific reason and that three by three platform is so we can place trap doors you can don't have to use slabs you can use full blocks but place your trap doors because we want the zombie pigmen's AI to be fooled into thinking that they can walk across those trap doors. So you don't have to open these up just yet, just uh, get them in. If it's safer for you to have them still there, leave them like that. Now for the underside, we need to go down two blocks and create a floor. Now it goes all the way around. The floor covers the entire thing. Now I'll be right back as soon as I actually get this part built because this is a long and tedious and I don't want you guys to just watch me place blocks. A lot of blocks. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got the uh, funnel to, uh, chamber done. So what we need to do is come down here, go to the middle, make sure you're in the middle, place a trapdoor. 
And now trap door is fence gate. Open it and then place one bucket in each corner. That's going to funnel them all into the center here. So let's just break that because now they will fall in. Now, let's pop over here real fast. This is one that I designed just to get them to go in and get killed by the minecarts. This right here is absolutely the basic and they're going to have trouble going in. So however you want to get them into an area, get them into, and yeah, just get them into a one white hole, including, uh, yeah, let's do a different design real fast. Let's break, oh, let's put these and there. Now, We've got I'm just going to do something else okay there's that let's uh, place you open you actually let's drop it down one more So that the water flows over it. Place you. Open. Then we break you. Break you. And break you. Make sure you got no water flowing down wherever you don't want them. Now they're going to flow right into this one point right here. So let's just break that. Yeah, quick kill chamber. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything special with this one because I'm just there. That's one way to do it. Yeah, let's do it that way. So, now we're going to get onto the redstone. What we need to do is be able to pull this, uh, pull this up for a short period and then let it down. So, with that observer, place a block on the side and place a piston. Below it, we need to create a pulse extender and I recommend using a four comparator pulse extender because I've always I've had good luck with those anyways so compared to going out away from the block compared to going to the block dust 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 now we got a uh, now we got the pulse extender that limits how long this stays up. We'll place a block there. We'll get our repeater, place it there, and it has to be set on at least two ticks. Get a sticky piston, place it up, get a block, put it on its face. Because we need to have it, we need a monostable circuit there. And that's why this needs to be two ticks because then it holds it long enough and then a comparator going into that. Now we need a etho hopper clock. So I always set it up this way. Very minimum crouching, very minimum block placement. Yeah, we don't need those. You could use slabs like I did in the other one, but yeah. We just need to go with a basic etho hopper clock. And dust, dust, and there. Now, there's one thing I forgot in the parts list, and that's a redstone block. So we'll just place the redstone block there. Now get your two, get your stack and a half of items. Oh, well, it looks like we needed it a little longer than that. <laughs> so yeah, keep it on four ticks. And that's all the dust we need. And then let's just uh, stop it for now by placing a lever onto here. 
All the items will transport into this hopper and stay there. Now, that's the entire redstone. How your collection system's up to you, but now, get your obsidian, count out seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do that to every, and then fill it all in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not even going to make the portal real fast, but one, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I said, you fill it all in. These are nine wide. So now we get a temp lock, place it here, place the obsidian here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, uh, we basically want to create a square. Temp lock and then nine more. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Temp lock and line it up. You can use the entire obsidian ring but this is the bare minimum so I'll be right back once I actually have all these portals built be back in a moment okay guys I'm back and as you can see I've got all the portals made now I'm gonna show you guys this one little thing when you make your portals just slowly make sure you hit every single block because this is an actual portal right here even though it doesn't look like it so you make sure you hit every single one so start from the back so you don't walk through those portals lighting them up And there we go. Now, start the ethyl hopper clock and just come down here where we have our zombie killing chamber. You can just stand right here and no one will be able to hurt you. But yeah, let's just uh, see if we could get some. Ah, uh, here we go. There's one at least. Two. The reason why they don't get uh, go through the portal more than once is because once they go into the portal, once they register, the, once. Their timing is wrong for getting set up with the portal. So they won't be able to be able to. Yeah, I know I could use a sword. In fact, actually, let's uh, get us just a simple little diamond sword. You'll be able to get gold nuggets run flesh if you use any method other than the sword you'll be able to get gold swords gold ingots if you use the sword have them drop have them killed by iron golems it doesn't matter how you do it just let them die now you're wondering i bet you guys are wondering why i am having them become aggressive to a snowman and to the snow golem that is because Zombie pigmen do not chase after the eggs, the turtle eggs. I've already tried it, and I figured I will not put a video out and say, oh, this works, and it doesn't. But, yeah, we're, I'm always worried about, will it work? And as you can see, it slowly 
they slowly fight to get in. But they all eventually get in there. So let's go kill these guys. Get uh, whatever little XP we can. And another thing is when you build this, make sure you build it where the snow golem will not die. Don't build it in a hot biome. If you if a snow golem can't lay down snow, you will not this system will not work and you'll have to find a way to, for it to work. Occasionally, yeah, you'll see them just walk uh, just pathfind off and that's fine. They'll just go wait and die. <laughs> but you guys this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.